Let's talk about first home owners. Yes. So first home buyers obviously new into the market, they've got to go out and research the marketplace. They want to have a look for a property they, they want to buy. So what are the first things that they should do? Because I see a lot of buyers come into open homes and they say, we love it, we want to buy it. But guess what? They don't even know how much they can borrow. <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. What should they do before right. they even start looking? Okay, before they start looking, hopefully they've been saving. Nowadays, banks want borrowers to put money in themselves. Gone of the days of borrowing 100% of the purchase price. Mm -hmm. So the very first thing is hopefully six months previously, they've decided to start to save. Build up a nice little deposit, and then you're feeling a bit more confident because you think, oh, well, I, I can prove that I can put that aside of that money. Once they've found that they've got a deposit, and we can work out how much that has to be once you've sort of worked out their borrowing capacity, you'd ring a broker and you'd say, look, can I come round and work out how much I can borrow? Bring a couple of pay slips with you and some idea of your deposit amount. Mm -hmm. The mortgage broker will sit down with you and say, we'll work out, is that a base wage that you want to work it on or do you want to use some overtime? Because all of those rules come into play and allow you to borrow different amounts. Right. You know, so if you know that you only ever get a flat wage and occasionally you'll get a bonus, you might say, look, I want to work out my borrowing capacity not using that bonus. Mm -hmm. You might also have in your idea that you want a dream home on Sydney Harbour where you'd have to use every bit of bonus that you'd ever earned, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's it. So you work out your borrowing capacity by sitting down with a mortgage broker. But you've got to be prepared when you go to the mortgage broker. You've got to have your pay slips ready, your group certificate. Um, you know your groups. Uh, they're yep. called tax assessment notices tax assessment, and yep, group your, certificates, your payment yep. summaries, all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, you'd know if you've got any debts. So you'd say, all right, well, I know I've got a car loan, and you'd know what your repayment was on that too. Sure. So take those details to the broker, mm -hmm. and they can sit down with you and work out exactly how much you can borrow. Fantastic. Once you've done that, the mortgage broker might decide to say, look, how about we get what's called a pre-approval? Got it. And you probably know that a pre-approval makes you feel more confident because then you know that per, that particular person that you're speaking with has gone to the trouble mm. of getting all those things together. Fantastic. So if a buyer, first home owner comes along, as long as they've got the, all the information at the beginning, meaning you know how much they're earning, yes. but also you need to know how much they're yes. spending, spending. How much they're paying out on How this. much is outgoing, I guess, and maybe a history of how much they're saving. Yeah. <laughs>